This is calculator question number 18. College Board gives us a description of a survey of home values where the mean and median are very different. The mean is 165,000 and the median is 125,000. And the question is, what explains the difference between the mean and median? One rule you should, first of all, learn to understand and second, memorize once you understand it is if the mean is larger than the median, typically the distribution is skewed high or there are high outliers. Unusually high values will pull the mean up relative to the median. If in contrast, and that's not what we see here, the mean is lower than the median, then the, the distribution is either skewed low or has unusually low outliers. If you think about ages of people in your school, the median age for students is probably about 16 and the median age for all people in the school is also probably about 16 even when the teachers are included. However, the mean, because many teachers, let's face it, we're older than dirt. When you add numbers older than dirt to numbers 14 to 16 to 18, the high outliers will pull the average up. So let's take five people, a 16, a 16, another 16, a 17, and let's throw in a 58. This is my fourth period class with the seniors gone. The median is obviously 16. The mean, if I add up 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 17, plus 58, and I divide by 5, I get the mean is 24.6 years. So that one high outlier pulls the mean up well above the median. If you memorize this example and just figure the mean and median for a situation like this, you'll say, oh, I see. High values pull up the mean a lot they don't have much effect on the median. Now looking at the answer choices, choice A, homes have values that are close to each other. That would tend to give you mean and median that are close to each other. A few homes are valued much less than the rest that would pull the mean down less. If we were looking at the mean and median ages for children in my school, the median is probably 16, as I said. The mean for children, we have a small number of toddlers in this school. We have a daycare center for primarily the children of teachers, I believe. And that small number of low outliers would pull the mean down. There are a lot more teachers than there are toddlers. So when you include adults, the mean is pulled up. But just among children, the low outliers pull the mean down. So choice B is wrong. Choice C, there's a few homes valued much more than the rest. That is correct. That's what we just discussed, that high outliers or extreme high values compared to most of the values pull the mean above the median. Make sure you remember this because College Board questions you on this frequently. They often ask about mean and median and in particular what outliers or extreme values do to the mean and to the median. Come back soon for my next video with math, there's always more.